I have just celebrated my 60th anniversary as an RSHM. I have been in Rome 58 years. I have worked in our international school, I have worked in our Italian school, and I have also been archivist here in General Aid. The Institute really has always had its archives from the very beginning in Béziers. Then in 1960, in the 1960s, when the General Aid was moved back to Rome and Sister Mary Milligan was the Superior General who had a great love for archives and the history of the Institute, she decided that General Late should have an archivist. Historical archives were left in Béziers, but everything from the Superior Generals was to be moved to Rome, and that's what we did. I am the first archivist of the General Late. In Béziers are the original letters of the founder and most of the original material of the foundation. I have some letters here of the foundress. These are original letters written by Mira saint Jean to Père Gaillac. Even though they lived in the same house together, they wrote to one another every day. She wrote letters to him and he answered her letters. So therefore we have a fantastic history you can see her signature, St. Jean Superior. And then I have everything here regarding the Superior Generals. When people entered, a register was kept, a register of people entering, and it was called the Grand Register. And it begins, the very first person is Mayor St. Jean. And these are all written by hand. There's her date of birth, her date of uh, her parents' name, etc., all the information. And this was kept by hand for all the early sisters up to the 1950, up to 1954, from Mother Saint Jean, who was the first Superior General, down to Sister Teresina, who was the last Superior General before Ross. All that historical information is here in this generally. This is a copy of the death certificate of uh, Apolloni Cure. Here you have a letter from Mir San Jean when she was still Apolloni Cure, policier. This is a notebook, a little notebook that the founders kept her notes in. As you can see she was very precise, everything was very, this was also another little. It's very interesting. The ink that they used was purple, and it's lasted. It's, it's just as if it were written now. You can see it was written in 1849, years ago, which we still, we don't do, but certainly in the time of the founder they did it. And even when I entered the novitiate, at the change of the hour, we used to say a little prayer, which we call the blessing of the hours. And this is, this was a French tradition, and these are the original the Guard of Honor. Everybody in the novitiate was given a different hour to which say a prayer. So here we have the nightcap worn by our founders. This is a little water jug that she used. And this was a, uh, which she kept on her night table. It's Our Lady of La Salette. This is a prayer book of hers. And this was a little box that we found that evidently she kept, we don't know whether it was on her desk or her night table, but she kept little things in it. These little dolls were done for the archives by a sister in Portugal. It's the four habits, or it's our original habit the sisters, the choir, the uh, lay sisters habit, then the in-between habit, then the modern habit, and then we went into secular dress altogether. These are things belonging to the founder. These are socks worn by Pere Gaillac. 
these are mittens. As you can see, they're only half. They only went as far as a certain part of the hand. This is a handkerchief of Paragaya. This is his golden jubilee. This was his watch. This was his snuff box. In, in France, it was very common. It still is for men to use snuff. This is an original letter of Pere Gaillac. As you can see, it's all written in, it's written in pencil by hand. He wrote, and he went very, very small. These were other things in the view from the mother house. That's also a letter of Pere Gaillac. That we don't know where it came from, but it, it's a very old, it's a sacred heart of Mary and a sacred heart of Jesus together. Jim Pere Gaillac's time. One of the means of livelihood was to teach orphans how to embroider wine. Yeah, but back in the founder's time, yes, the orphan, the boys did it, but it was probably only for use of the house. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for taking the time. No, I'm, I'm delighted.